Hi, everyone. You're back. And I'm so glad you're back. I hope this interview with my friend Tommy Locks will soothe your soul. That's the whole point of my show and help you with stress and anxiety. And also, if you have friends and family that don't believe there's something more to this world, hopefully you can share this interview and the other interviews, because that's the other point is to have us possibly realize there's something more to, than just this earth. So you're looking right now at Tommy Locks. He's my friend in uh, Texas. I almost said Malibu. He's in Texas. He used to be in California. He was in carpentry and he was in very high end carpentry, like homes in Malibu type area, people in the movie industry. But the other part of his background, I want you to know that he's a classical rock guitar musician. So he, he does guitar and a bit of harmonica. I almost forgot that word. So Tommy, let's start with your, did you have a tour of heaven? And my second question was, how did you, was there an accident or what happened to you? I'll start with that question. Thank you. Okay, the tour of heaven uh, for me was basically, this is part of heaven. And once you understand that, in other words, we're not, uh, we're creating whatever we're looking for here now, whether it's heaven or hell who you follow and who you support is creating that. Um, we are not predestined to anything. We're predestined to everything. In other words, you will experience everything that anybody else has experienced. So, you know, in the, in the long run, that's, you're going to be the abuser and the abused because you wouldn't know what it's like. That's, that's part of this soul recycling center. That's what I call the earth. And, and, and you know, this, the soul is eternal. And how did you tour, let's call it heaven or the other realm, something that most of us don't see or sense right now? Was there an accident or what happened to you? Yeah, uh, my wife and I were on our way home from a, uh, a reunion at my sister's house in Colorado. And we're going down the highway. Uh, a pickup truck made a left in front of us and uh, we crashed and both of us died at the scene. I, you know, however briefly or long, it's kind of irrelevant. I, I don't know if she, if she uh, completely was and pronounced dead at the scene or at the first hospital. I don't know that, but <laughs> she didn't come back. I did. I flatlined three times. And each time I went there and came back, it was easy going there, but it was very painful coming back. And it wasn't just my pain. It was everybody's pain that, that knew what happened. And I, I was going to have to uh, ease their pain somehow. I didn't know how. I still don't know how. And there's, we're still going through it because it is very painful to lose something. But because I went there with her, uh, I I have a little more, I know where she's at. There's no mystery to it now. And it's beautiful. So I have an interesting question. As you mentioned, your wife, she passed and she didn't come back to this earth and you did a, but, a hummingbird. I see birds out my window sometimes. I don't see hummingbirds. A hummingbird came to one window, came to the next and just flew away. <clears throat> when you said your wife, Julie's name, or you said something about your wife, her name's Julie, right? Right. Do hummingbirds mean anything to you or Julie? Absolutely. She was very, uh, she was, she worked in glass and, uh, she loved hummingbirds, butterflies. She was that spirit. I mean, she was the light of the of of the room. You know, everybody loved her, and I I'm sure they still love her. It's just that not everybody has that connection that I do. Uh, it's not just hummingbirds now. It's any kind of bird. Or, uh, it's it's. The spirit is always here. 
um, I want to tell you a little story about a butterfly. Uh, my daughter and I went to Costa Rica in 2012, I think it was, and we we're out snorkeling and probably a couple of hundred yards out, we're standing on some rocks about waist deep. And I said, this is beautiful. Your mom would love it here. And then I said, she's here with us. And I went like this in the water. We were about chest deep in water. I went like this and I felt something in this arm, in this hand. And when I pulled it out, when I said, she's here with us, I pulled a hand out and there's a butterfly the size of my palm. And it was her and I saw it. The butterfly was dead, but that was the sign. That was a clear for her and I to see. And I told her many years after that, that if she wasn't there to witness it, I wouldn't repeat that story because it sounds like I made it up. I mean, even to me, it sounds like something I would dream to verify what I said, but that was real. And it happens all the time. It happens for everybody. We're just not, we, we call it a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences anymore. I believe in God. I believe in life. I believe in the spirit of life. Uh, and it's good. Yeah, uh, I'd love to do a part two, if that's okay with you. This is going to yeah. be a brief for people who just want to increase their faith a little bit, but people that want to know more about Tommy, we're going to do a part two that want to know more details about the accident and your wife and any other people that you have in heaven. And I just, I just have a quick question before we go into part two. How long do you feel you were on the other side? And did you see Julie on the other side? How long were you with her? And also, why do you think she, you came back and she didn't? Anything like that real quick. And then we can do more details. Well, uh, I'm going to go with the why she didn't come back and I did. I wouldn't have this. Uh, I wouldn't be talking about this if she came back. Uh, in other words, everybody has their, uh, their path. And at the end of that path, when that path is done, it's done. You, you know that before you're born. But, but uh, as you're going through it, you can't really, it's hard to see outside of it. But it's, it's only hard because we think we can't. In other words, everybody has that ability to see themselves outside of themselves rise above whatever situation and you're much better off because you've, you've got everybody's view. And, you know, if you're looking for solutions, you won't, you, the problems won't exist. But if you're looking, that's the, the upside down world we are programmed in is we look for problems. Well, that's why we got so many problems. We don't do that. You wouldn't. You would only. You know what the solution is. Don't be an asshole. Simple. So again, I, I would like to go in more details in part two. But what I do want to know is how long do you think? Because you said you flatlined three times. How long did you visit? Even though you say heaven and earth are here, heaven and hell are here. How long did you? I don't know how to ask. How long were you there on the other side? And did you see Julie? Did you have a conversation with her? Was, how did that work? I was there forever. Uh, and I'm here forever. It, it, there's no beginning and no end uh, in the spirit, in the spirit world. And I live in the spirit world. I, I follow the good spirits. I don't follow, I don't even acknowledge the evil spirits. I know they're here, but I don't, I don't look for them. They sometimes find me, but they have no power because I don't give them power. 
My final question before we do part two, which I'm going to ask you about coincidences, more spiritual stories about family who's giving you some hints that they're not dead, but because we don't die. That's one of the points of my show. I wanted to ask you, um, what was my question? I'm forgetting for just a moment. My question was, um, oh, the accident. That's what I say. Can you tell us a little bit about what the accident was? We were on uh, my 2007 road team, brand new Harley. And uh, I mean, it was one year old at that time. But we're going down the highway uh, and a truck made a left in front of us. That, uh, I skidded, you know, I read all of the, all of the uh, police reports and all of that stuff while I was laid up afterwards. But I skidded like 180 feet. Uh, and according to witnesses, I did everything I could to avoid the accident, but it, there was no avoiding it. Um, and, you know, so I don't know why I didn't die, I, to be honest with you, I, I, I should have. But in that, in that life review that you go through, when you say, how long have you, were you there? I was literally there. I mean, each time I went back, I went further back. I mean, and I got more information to understand what it is I'm supposed to do here. I was told to write a book, had no idea. I mean, if prior to that, I, I barely even read books. So I had no idea that I could write a book. And that's Egonomics 101. The awakening has begun within or without you. Um, that was the ego and the soul were the two main factors of my message. And the ego is was explained to me as the human condition. We are conditioned by these egos to be like them. In other words, uh, greedy, selfish, that's the ego. It will never, ever be satisfied until it kills itself. And that's what happened to me was my ego was the first thing that I saw dying in my container. And without that, well, there was nothing to worry about. Everybody on that, in my realm at that time, knew everything that I knew. So there was no competition. There was no, it was just, it was beautiful. You know, in this realm, we have to share these pieces of the puzzle. If I keep my pieces and you keep yours, we'll never put the puzzle together. So we all have a piece, but, and we could all have peace if we eliminate the, uh, the egos of the world that want to create war and control. I, I'm not, I was always out of control, so I'm comfortable with that. I don't play by the rules because now I know that I get to write the rules, my rules, not your rules or not anybody else's rules, but I get to play my role the way I see it. And you know, it's, it, it's so simple. The power of suggestion is, is what we're, that's part of your fear. If you, you're told to fear. I mean, everything that's going on in the world right now, I have no fear of it because I know that they can't kill me. Not my spirit. They could kill my body, but so what? I've, I've been through that, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of times in the, in the big picture. And I've always come back. We appreciate you, Tommy. Thank you for sharing your journey. We're gonna click part two, click down for part two, because I'm gonna ask Tommy a lot more details about his life 
about his death experience, about the accident, even about his carpentry, because he was in California, Malibu area. That's He has some interesting stories there, some more coincidence stories, hopefully. If you need to reach out to me, my email is growthfactor.org at gmail.com. And that's the email, that's the website as well. I help people mostly with stress, anxiety, doom, things like that. But I also help with nutrition tips that help me get rid of my severe anxiety. So thank you, Tommy. And we thank saw you, your book. If you can say how people can reach you, either your email or your Facebook, how to spell your name. Uh, Tommy Locks, L-A-U-X. Uh, that's Facebook. I'm almost on that every day. Uh, probably too much. <laughs> but that's part of, of where I'm at right now. I will be eventually doing more of these videos. Uh, and eventually I'm going to uh, hook up with a better writer than myself that will, I can talk the book and they can organize it because I'm not very organized. Uh, I, that's my weakness. But there are a lot of people who are very organized like Amalia. <laughs> Really, so, not so organized. But I appreciate you, Tommy. Tommy is my friend. We talk sometimes almost every day. <laughs> I, I like to ask Tommy his life advice with my own personal struggles. So I appreciate you, Tommy, very much. So I know we all appreciate you for giving us a peek into your life because there are some people who do reach out to me. They just want to tell me their story, but they won't interview. So I know this is very sacred and we appreciate you, Tommy. And we'll go into part two, just either click my channel, which is growth factor or click above and see all my list of interviews. Thanks, Tommy. And thanks everyone. See you in part two. Bye.